An Insane Psychedelic Experience, published to the Actualize.org forums by Billy Simon. Yeah, I couldn't believe it. I read Leo Gura's short replies about cannabis weeks ago, recounting that he had a massive awakening with it, and I also did a lot of research on YouTube, non-dual therapy channel has nice videos on it, and it seems like several spiritual people have had intense psychedelic trips with THC. So I was really curious, since I've already had several psychedelic experiences and some higher states of consciousness from sober techniques. The dosage and strain. I received this powerful Italian strain, I am Italian, of 20% THC and sativa dominant. After several days of anxiety and fear about it, I decided to try it out. I weighed 25 milligrams of raw bud, which is very low, and put it in my small bong. Just two hits and nothing more. The trip. After the first hit, I feel a lot more present, silent, and my desires and wants seem to fade away. There's also a pleasant orange taste. Second hit, finishing up the tiny fragment of bud. Well, there's nothing happening. I guess it's okay, I'll do something else. Boom. And it hits me. Massive waves of anxiety and fear start to torture me. This has never happened so hard on psychedelics for me. It's the first time that it's so aggressive. Fear, fear, anxiety, terror. I'm gonna die. I feel like I'm mentally dying, and my body is almost completely relaxed and still. I recognise the ego death, so I decide to let go in order to avoid a bad trip. I surrender over the course of three minutes, and my fast heartbeat calms down. Silence. I am nowhere. I am nowhere to be found. Where am I? I am nowhere. This body is just a body. This voice is just a voice. I truly am nowhere. I start to feel that I am both nowhere and everywhere at the same time. I have small moments of deep samadhi with objects, but as soon as I start listening to my human voice, I get back into my ego and lose the samadhi. I notice that I feel safer in my ego, it feels safe. I am this person feels safe. It's the fear of death, the fear of losing free will, and the fear of oneness. Massive energy waves. Huge energy and frequency waves hit me from everywhere. They are almost colourful, but they are mostly felt with the touch sense. It's infinite energy. I feel infinite energy hitting me everywhere. There's infinite energy forever and ever and ever in existence. It never stops and it's limitless. For several minutes, I felt drowning myself in this infinite energy. It felt like an infinite quicksand, an infinite rabbit hole made of waves. I feel a massive fear of losing completely myself in this infinite limitless texture of energy. What it means to be pure. Pure means that you surrender to existence, to the universe, to the whole. The pure one is surrendered and humble. Not morally humble, it is existentially humble. Surrendering to the universe, which I decided to do, made me feel like I was gaining so much power. But I recognised that this power was not mine. It was not mine. It was of the whole, of the singularity. Surrendering your uniqueness gives you the power of this whole, and that's purity. Fear of losing time and come down. Towards the end, I started to feel so out of place, literally, that I was too afraid of going deeper. I could totally feel that I could have gone deeper, but I was afraid to. Deeper into infinity. Deeper into oneness. Deeper into purity. It's too much for me. So I start intentionally to practice monkey mind, listening to music and reflecting on my life. Sometimes I gain more humanness, but sometimes I become conscious of how I'm creating time and how I'm creating my life story, which is a fiction inside my head. So I freak out and start to do something else to distract myself. I notice that I tend to do automatic self-inquiry in this trip, something I cannot stop because it seems part of the trip. I walk outside and total come down. At the end of the experience, I decide to walk outside and purposely think. The presence is strong, so sometimes my mind goes blank and I feel a strong connection to everything. After 40 minutes of walking, I'm somehow out of the trip. Two hours of peak state. 1.5 hours of come down. What the fuck? It was an amazing experience, but also really aggressive, especially the infinite waves. I guess I cannot smoke weed for relaxation and fun at all.